How to play this game. A thoroughly useful guide from the hand of Roderick Bandersnatch. That's me. One, pointing. Use your computerized pointing device, or a competent finger anyway, to select an action from the lower portion of the televisual outputter. Two, clicking. Once roused, you can apply your chosen action to stimulate objects or characters within the fictional yet absorbing game environments. They may also be lavishly applied to items in your own inventory, which can be found nestling near the bottom. Three, waffling. If you do not wish to listen to something that a character is saying, regardless of humor, relevance, or politeness, you may click to skip that particular line of dialogue. Four, the main menu. Caress on the cog icon in the top right of the computer or later screen. Yes. From the main menu, you can save or load a game, or access your game settings, including a spicy new one you can read more about over Leaf. Five, time. The game works in real time, so if you play between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m., the scenes, actions, and characters will differ to those found during the rest of the day. If you do not wish your game playing experience to last for several months, you may enable time skip mode in your game settings. This will allow you to use the pocket watch in your inventory to skip time. That is all. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. <laughs> oh, they don't stand a chance.